this is actually a brief presentation regarding the quality consists in which I will talk about the classifications and importantly how to memorize these classifications and also the treatment per each type of this classification okay now this figure I have taken it from Schwartz in which there are the types 1 2 3 4 a 4 B and 5 this is actually when you see the figure you think it's easy but when you want to say it uh, or to memorize it you will you will find that is difficult so let's go to the how we can memorize it I tried to make a mnemonic for that or by the letters we can say uh, type 1 1 is first that means you take first for fusiform and type 2 is second that is secular and 3 that is through the duodenum and 4 we have 4a and 4b 4a for all for all that means for all intra and extra hepatic and 4b because I like sports I like to watch the sports so I made this my B out so B out is extra hepatic ducts only uh, and 5 Caruli take the I and say intra hepatic ducts only and some will say BN no that is not BN because already, already we utilize the 4A that is for all for all intra and extra hepatic and 4B is B out please don't confuse it uh, I try to make it easy now we go back to that sorry now yeah type 1 type 1 uh, we said type 1 first that means fusiform you can see this th this shape is fusiform okay and type 2 is secular and I want you to memorize these classifications by now because actually when we when we mention the treatment you remember which type and you treat ac accordingly so type 1 is uh, fusiform because first is fusiform type 2 uh, second is secular type 3 we said throw the duodenum here it is and type 4 for all we said for all intrahepatic and extrahepatic now for B B out that means extrahepatic one two and this is the third uh, and uh, type 5 that is Caroli actually that is intrahepatic only uh, and it's called Caroli disease we mentioned Caroli take the I and say intrahepatic okay now we finished with the classifications now we go to the treatment in the treatment actually I have read it from Schwartz and Cameron almost they are the same but more detailed in Cameron but I will tell you the most common MCQ which usually comes for uh, it's for type 1 so we have type 1 which is the management for type 1 is cholecystectomy and excision of extra hepatic biliary tree plus rho in y hepatic jejunostomy. Don't complicate it. It's very easy. Let's go back to the to that photo. Okay. Yeah, here it is. So what you remove because it is involving uh, you can see the uh, the the gallbladder. Yes, you have to remove it. That is so called stectomy, and you remove the extra hepatic biliary tree okay so the gallbladder you will remove it and the extra hepatic biliary tree and then you will do your anastomosis here with the uh, with the jejunum you will bring the jejunum so it's only removal and then anastomosis okay again we finished with type 1 now what is the management for type 2 it's the same it's the same for type 1 which is cholestectomy excision of extra hepatic biliary tree and raw and y hepatic genostomy now I'm talking about Schwartz what is mentioned in Schwartz and type 4 they mentioned also the same the only exception is in type 3 they mentioned you can do the sphincterotomy if you remember type 3 is through the duodenum so you do only sphincterotomy so now we finished with the uh, what is mentioned in Schwartz and that is the most common actually and the most common uh, question is about type 1. What is the management of type 1 cholecystic cyst? Now let's go to Cameron. Cameron, he mentioned the same thing for type 1, the same treatment exactly. But in type 2, he mentioned instead of doing that procedure, you can do only diverticulectomy, saying that the, the risk of cancer is not like others, so he can do only diverticulectomy. Uh, don't uh, don't think about the sentence which is written there it's only the anastomosis how you do it actually the closure is over the 
cystic uh, duct. I mean the remaining. That is only the, regarding the closure. Now, so for type 2 is the diverticulectomy. For type 3, in Schwartz was mentioned that sphincterotomy. That is in general. But in Cameron, he described that if it is small, yes, I do agree that is sphincterotomy. But if it is large, you do transdidinal excision. Okay. Now with type 4, type 4, Again, and Schwartz mentioned the same for type 1, but in Cameron, it's described in more details. He mentioned that if it is extrahepatic, so yes, you do the same for extrahepatic part. But for the intrahepatic part, the standard is to do the partial hepatectomy. So, so that is for type 4. Now for type 5, for type 5, if it is confined, hepatic resection. If it is bilooper, complex, portal hypertension, you do the liver transplant. So this is the management for the colloidal cysts, and I gave you the comparison between what is written in Schwartz and what is written in Cameron, so not to be confused. They are almost the same, but you have more details in Cameron. Uh, so these are my references, and I would like uh, I would like you to share uh, to share my channel, which is uh, Suture Master. So uh, there I will put my videos regarding the presentations. Uh, in the future i hope uh, you enjoyed the video and that is a small and quick and brief summary uh, regarding the colloidal cysts thank you